when you start to take a look at feature data in Pendo, you might notice that certain features are not getting used as much as you'd like. You can leverage guides to drive adoption to those features and ensure that they are getting the attention they deserve. Let's first go into Pendo and decide what feature we want to improve adoption of. For this demonstration, let's choose an important feature that appears to have poor adoption based on number of clicks. If you don't see number of clicks as one of your columns, click on Actions and edit the column headers to add it. Now we're able to sort by number of clicks on the feature, we can go ahead and select one. I already had a feature in mind for this. It's called New Feature Button. I don't have much data since this is a test application, but we can still see that the number of clicks is very low. After you've determined which feature you want to improve, let's create a segment of all users who have never interacted with the feature. Go ahead and name it something like Never Used Feature Button. We'll use the feature rule for this segment, use our new feature button, not used, and ever. Save that and let's load up the guide designer to build a tooltip badge. Navigate to the page that your feature is on, click Add New Guide and select Tooltip, and then target the element for that feature. I'm going to name this guide New Feature Badge. Now I'm going to use the informational tooltip template for this. If you haven't already, you can build a template to match the look of your application, or you can make minor CSS modifications on this guide specifically. Next, I'm going to add a short message telling users how they can use this feature. Once we have the wording the way we want, we'll adjust the segment to be targeted at everyone who has never used the feature. That's the previously created segment called Never Use Feature button we made earlier. We are going to set the activation of this tooltip by badge. This means the guide will display when the user clicks or hovers over a badge icon next to the feature. We have a number of options for the badge. We can change the icon, change the color, change the positioning in relation to our feature. We can adjust the offset to position the badge exactly where we want it. I'm going to leave the frequency on Always Show, which means the badge will display even after the user has seen the guide. Once everything looks good, go up to the top and click Save. Once your guide is public, you will notice the badge icon next to the feature. You will also start gathering details on guide interactions. This is where your feature overlay will come into play. Click into the guide details page and go down to the daily views module. Clicking feature in the top right corner of this window will allow you to pick one of your existing features and overlay that feature data over the guide data. If your guide is successful in driving adoption of the feature, you will notice that the guide views increase and so do the number of clicks on the feature. Great work! If you have any further questions, reach out to us at help at pendo.io.